Well, hi there. This is Scott Duffy from GetCloudSkills.com. And Microsoft has recently announced some big changes to the AI 900 exam. This is the foundation fundamentals exam for artificial intelligence and machine learning services within Azure. These changes go into effect as of November 2nd, 2023 on the English exam. So I've sat down today and looked at the before and after in terms of the skills measured. And this video is going to cover what's changing on the AI 900 exam. Like I said, there are some significant changes and we need to talk about it. Now, first off, Microsoft has been updating the audience profile. They've been uh, making some bullet points and other things. So that's changed. Now, if we look at the percentages, we've actually got a brand new section on the exam about generative AI. So Microsoft is finally introducing their open AI services and DAL-E and others into this exam and the other AI 102 exam. And so what they've done is they've actually lowered the percentages for all of the sections almost from the workload section, the principles going down by 5%, going down by 5%, NLP down by 10%, and then they've got generative AI as being 15 to 20%. So brand new section, and then we're going to make the other sections a little bit less. Now, if we go into those other sections, we're going to see actually more into the uh, requirements. So that's, you know, lower percentage of the topic, lower percentage of the exam, but actually a few more items to know. So as you can see, the common AI workloads section used to have four items in it and now has seven. And so now they're adding new features like document intelligence that was probably hidden a little bit under knowledge mining for in terms of Azure search and uh, generative AI is also in there and the content moderation and personalization is a new feature in terms of the basics. Now, responsible AI pretty much hasn't changed. You can see the before and after pretty much the same. Going down to the principles of machine learning on Azure, we have a new feature being added that ironically is features. So identify features of deep learning. So we're going to have to add topics of deep learning into the course. The core machine learning concepts hasn't changed. Uh, there's also this uh, Azure Machine Learning Studio, which has now been called Azure Machine Learning Capabilities. And so there's things like model management and deployment that was not on the previous exam. Continuing to go down, we have the computer vision workloads. As you can see, the percentage hasn't changed. And we can see the first section in terms of the common types have not changed. In terms of tools and services, uh, we do know that Forum Recognizer has now become the document intelligence. And so uh, you're not going to see identify capabilities of Forum Recognizer right on the this part of the exam, but the rest is the same. Um, custom vision also been removed, just called AI vision service, which might include both. If we go into the NLP section, it's been a significant decrease from 25 to 15. But like I said, uh, what we we're, would we're, see, if we go down here, we're going to see uh, NLP workloads, uh, conversational solutions, which used to be chatbots and virtual agents, has been removed. But now we have generative AI. And so generative AI does include things such as a DALI for image generation and the open AI services for chat bots. So what used to be the bot services and virtual agents pretty much been replaced by open AI services. So as you can see, we've got a whole new bunch of things to study for the AI 900 exam. I dare say the exam has become a little bit more difficult. So if you are interested in taking AI 900, if that's been on your to-do list, maybe you do want to try to go for it in the month of October and not wait till November to take that test. 
because I said, I think the test is going to get a little bit more difficult. Also keep in mind that we don't have all of the training materials available. Even Microsoft study guide does not contain videos or um, classes in terms of this new set of requirements. So studying for this is going to be a little bit more difficult. Also the exam itself, a little bit more difficult. If I was planning to take AI 900, I would take it in October. Anyways, this has been Scott Duffy from getcloudskills.com. Check out my course. I have an AI 900 course on Udemy. It will be updated for the new requirements, but it is uh, currently updated to the existing requirements. So go ahead, check that out, that course, search AI 900 on Udemy. I'm the number one search result and enroll in that course if you're interested. Hit the subscribe button and the notification bell. Thanks so much for being here. This has been Scott and I hope you have a wonderful day.